If I could describe my team in three words, they would be resilient, creative, and I think that we are like a family. We are con team from UTEC in Peru. Being the only Shellico Marathon team from Peru, we definitely had a lot of challenges. One of them would be support. Because of COVID and some social economic problems in our country, many companies hesitated to give us their support and didn't have enough resources to do so. But we are really grateful for the ones that did support us because that has helped us to get to where we are now. We also wanted to prove to people what we are capable of doing as students. Most of the time when we tell everyone that we are designing a car, they may think it's a conceptual design, but then when we tell them it's uh, construction and competing, they get really excited and surprised because they don't usually expect young people like us to do such great things. Shellico Marathon is so important to us because we view it as an opportunity to inspire other students, especially in our country. What makes Conteam special and unique would be our resilience and our creativity. I think our creativity comes from our culture. As Peruvians are known to be very creative and to do unexpected things with elements or ideas that most people wouldn't find very valuable. For example, right here in the competition, we used the wristbands for the door for the pilot. It needed to have a way to open it up from outside of the car and we didn't have any type of handle. So we cut the wristband and stuck it behind the door so they will be able to pull it open from outside. And I think they passed us on the inspection because they found it creative and a little bit funny. Sustainability is important because it's crucial in the development of any successful city and community. Sustainability has three main pillars, which would be economic, social, and environmental. We think that it's very important to consider the three of them equally, and it's something that hasn't been very common at all in our world, and we are now seeing the consequences of that. Speaking about the future of the environment is a little bit scary, I would say, because we know that we are not in good conditions right now and we're not heading to a bright future. But I think it's also a wake up call for all of us to not just ignore it because we think it's scary, but to take action on that. Don't forget to like, comment and share and follow hashtag Shellico Marathon for more.